Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Employee Inclusion Accelerator in possession. Uh, thank you so much for taking your time from your day uh, to learn more about our program and how we can help. Um, so my name is Daria, and I am here with uh, Stacy Davis. Both of us are employer coaches, and we will be taking um, this time to talk about our program and the services we provide. So before we start, uh, just a few housekeeping rules. Um, quick heads up, the session is recorded. I think the prompt kind of popped up already for all of you. Um, but we had some people that couldn't make it. So we are just hoping to record it and share it with everybody um, as it is a great information. Um, just please try to keep your mics muted unless you have a question, uh, just to minimize background noise for everybody. And of course, if you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to send them into the chat. One of us will get to you. And we will also have a dedicated question and answer session at the end uh, where we would be happy to answer any further questions you might have about our program. So let's get started. Uh, so here's some of the topics that we're gonna cover today. We will do a quick intro followed by some information about Goodwill. And then we will go into the main topic of our EIA program and what we provide, as well as why you should join us. All right, so here's our amazing team. We have five people in our EIA team uh, spanned across two cities. Some of us couldn't be here today. So Stacey and I are here representing, hoping to do it justice. Uh, we have four employer coaches and an administrative support. Uh, so Brogan and myself um, are employer coaches here in Edmonton, and then Stacy and Joanna are supporting employers in Calgary. Um, we have a quite a diverse team from various backgrounds, um, but all of us are very passionate about diversity and inclusion and have been working and advocating in this space for quite some time. So we are excited to start this project and help your companies uh, take a step forward. Um, there's quite a bit of information here. I can pause if you would like to know more about our backgrounds. Um, but yeah, this is the team. So a little bit about Goodwill. Um, many people think that Goodwill is just a thrift store with, where you can find great deals, but we are so much more than that. Um, so our mission is to provide individuals with disabilities the opportunity to enhance their lives through meaningful employment. And we truly live that here at Goodwill. So 30% of our employees uh, have a self-disclosed disability and our organization is striving and growing year over year. Um, so what are some of those initiatives and how do we do it? You can see the list uh, on your screen right now, but just to highlight a few, uh, our PDD and OA programs are employment programs for people with disabilities, where our navigators and job development specialists work with individuals one-on-one -on -one to find meaningful employment. And then Goodwill also has sustainability programs uh, that many people don't know about, um, but they run out of our impact center uh, where many items that normally would end up in the landfill are upcycled or repurposed, making a huge positive impact on the environment. Um, we also have programs such as You Can Ride Too, um, where we provide specialized bikes and scooters for kids with disabilities, uh, for where families can rent them out for the summer. Um, and that's been a huge impact on people's lives and families as well here in Edmonton. So all of these are amazing initiatives, but of course we are here to talk about EIA programs. So I'll pass it on to Stacy uh, to tell you more about this brand new service. Stacy. 
You're still muted, Stacey. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> My name is Stacey Davis. And as Daria said, I'm one of the employer coaches here in Calgary. Um, and so I'm excited that I get to talk to you all about EIA. Um, and so EIA is our new program called the Employer Inclusion Accelerator. And basically, uh, it's a unique program in that in the past, when we've talked about including people with disabilities in the workplace, typically the supports uh come with the individual that's looking for a job. So job coaches and job development specialists uh, work with the individual to find a placement and then also work with the employer to kind of um, help them along in their inclusivity journey. And so EIA is unique in that we really deal with employers exclusively. So we have many partners, um, service providers for people with disabilities that we're happy to share job postings with. Uh, but our job is really to work one on one with employers. And so uh, with that in mind, uh, we really are willing to help you on kind of anywhere in your journey. So whether or not you've considered hiring um, people with disabilities in your organization before, or if this is a new idea for you, that too, if you already have um, employees that have disabilities and you require more support, we can definitely help there too. So uh, in general, our program is serving businesses located within 50 kilometers of both Calgary and Edmonton. Uh, so Daria, can you just, thank you. Uh, so just some information in general about people with disabilities and employment. So the Canadian government, um, estimates that there's currently about 645,000 Canadians with a disability that have the potential to work, uh, that are currently not working. And what we found in studies done, um, for inclusive businesses is that they're twice as likely to meet or exceed financial targets three times as likely um, to be high performing, six times more likely to be innovative and agile, and eight times more likely to achieve a better business outcomes. And that's across all industries. So important to note. Um, a couple of things that we don't share on this slide is that um, typically persons with disabilities take less sick time, less days off at work, and then also they stay longer at jobs. So you really end up saving in that kind of time investment and money investment in the onboarding process for finding new staff as well. So now a little bit about our services. So as I said before, we really are prepared to kind of support employers on all ends of the spectrum of an inclusive hiring. So uh, first we talk about our inclusive job design support. So this would be if you are an organization and you think, hey, we would love to have some inclusive hiring happening, but we just don't really know where a person with a disability might be successful in our organization. Uh, we can come in and kind of, you know, see the positions that you have available and talk about how we would how we would make those jobs um, work for someone with a disability or or how we already know someone who might be a great fit for you. Um, and that also includes um, writing inclusive job descriptions and also job postings that are accessible. So people know when they see your job posting that you're um, willing to hire inclusively and that um, maybe you're not limiting your applicants by your language that you're using in your job posting. An example that we always use is uh, if you have a warehouse job, do you really need to lift 50 pounds or could you move it in some other way? Uh, and then in the employment promotion side of things, uh, we are developing a newsletter that's going to go out to all of our employer network, but also to our service provider partners. And so we'll be able to share resources in that um, and also job postings. And then the recruitment and onboarding support. We are willing and able to help with candidate screening with um, evaluating your interview process and what that might look like, how we can kind of maybe make accommodations if we need to. Uh, and then the same for your orientation materials, your policies, your procedures, all of those things can be things that we can help you to make more inclusive in your organization. And then the last and final thing is kind of the coaching side for information and resources and tools. We're so lucky that we have partners uh, across the province, really, that have expertise in different areas of inclusion. And so um, even if you already employ people with disabilities, if you feel like you need support for maybe your other staff to understand kind of, you know, why you why you're investing in people with disabilities or why you are making inclusion a priority in your business, to um, information about accommodations and things like that. We talk often talk about accommodations getting a bad rap um, 
people often think they're expensive and time consuming and difficult. And that's really the exact opposite is true. Most accommodations are free and easy. Um, that being said, if there is a bigger accommodation that your business requires, like ramps or automatic doors and things that need to be um need to be put into place. We also have um, the ability to refer you to organizations that might help with funding for those kinds of things as well. Um, so while we're talking about services, we'll chat a little bit about the process of getting signed up with, um, with our program. So the first step is kind of to meet with one of the job or one of the employer coaches or our admin support, Mariella, and kind of go through your eligibility. We're super lucky in that the um, funding for this program means that it's free for employers, um, but also that most employers will qualify. So as long as your business um, has branches in Calgary, Edmonton, or within 50 kilometers, so the surrounding communities as well, um, and you employ more than three people, most of most of those companies will, will qualify for free support. And so after you meet with one of us to kind of determine your eligibility, we'll sit down and talk about your business. Where do you need support? Are you just starting? Or are you really in a spot where you're ready to get some resources and, and um, ready to hit the ground running? So once you have that meeting with us, uh, either on the phone, in person, or online, uh, we're really flexible that way. We can kind of make a service plan where we can support you for anywhere from about four to 16 weeks. That being said, um, the timeline is, is super flexible. We were saying that we recommend that people take anywhere from kind of one to three services to begin with, just so that we're um, making sure that we're kind of following along, you know, a timeline that makes sense for everyone. And then you're able to reapply and we're also able to make adjustments in that. So if there's a service that really works well for you that you want us to look over other policies for your organization or what have you, then we can, we can make adjustments as we go to. Um, and then we would sign a service agreement and then hit the ground running. So um, our, like we mentioned before, our coaches are really flexible and, and because we're lucky enough to have two in each, in each city, we can, we can find a time and um, a coach that works well for your business. As Daria said, our team has a wide range of experience. And so chances are we have someone who has worked in your industry as well that might be able to support, um, that support might make more sense coming from a different coach. So the why join us? Um, we love the idea of of diversifying teams, and so, like I said, it's not it's not just about you know doing the right thing. It's really about the impact on your business. Uh, there's a really interesting case study out of the states from Walgreens, which is um, quite a large pharmacy chain, and they actually made a commitment to hire 20% um, of their employees for a new uh, warehouse facility with a disability. And what they found in that was that they actually outperformed every other warehouse in their chain. And so they ended up spreading that um, mission across all of their warehouses. And now across their entire organization, it's about 40% of their employees um, that are employed in their warehousing in shipping and receiving and all of those um, kind of frontline jobs. 40% um, of them have a disability and their productivity has actually increased by about 60%. And so it's a really great TED talk. If you want to uh, check it out, just it's on YouTube and it's amazing. And um so that would be the number one reason. It's really good for your business. Um, can we slide it forward, Daria? Thanks. Uh, and then, like I said, we're really a flexible team. So our services are available online, in person, phone, text, you name it. We're super connectable. Um, we really do create a custom plan. So uh, like I said, if you are an experienced inclusive hirer and you just need some support with some resources maybe or uh, you have a new policy or a new job description that you'd like to be reviewed then that's easy for us or if you're just even considering like what would this look like for my company that's something that we can certainly help with as well um, if you reach out to our general email um, inbox our admin support Mariella will help you connect with the right coach um, and if you have um, 
if you already have a connection to a coach that invited you here today, you can reach out to them. And um, yeah, so I'll share our contact information. Like I said, the general email is posted and, and that is our admin support phone number as well for the entire province. Um, Goodwill shares updates as well on their social channels. Um, I'm going to leave that there and we're going to open it for questions. Uh, feel free if you want to unmute yourself, you can put your hand up maybe or or just unmute if you'd like, or we can have questions in the chat. Uh, if there aren't any questions and if you'd rather ask questions directly, please feel free to contact us at any time. Uh, and then uh, one more little housekeeping at the end, um, I'm going to pop the survey into the chat. If you don't mind taking some time to do that, that would be fantastic. If you don't have time right away, that's fine. We'll also be sending it out uh, via email this afternoon sometime. So please keep an eye out for that so that we can learn and grow and hopefully reach more and more um, potential inclusive employers. Uh, so if there are any questions, I'll just give it a minute. While people are thinking um, of any questions they may have, um, just a quick side note and um, addition to that, it would be that we are not requiring you to commit to hiring people with disabilities right off the bat. So uh, we understand that it's a journey and we understand that this is a plan that might be a few months, you know, a few years, uh, depending on where you are in your hiring um, kind of plan and journey and inclusivity training, um, and we are able to support you throughout. So maybe it's just the start of the conversation of what that could look like, and that's okay. And we would be happy to share some resources, some studies, um, some techniques um, as well to maybe introduce that. Um, but we don't, you know, we don't, we don't have any requirements right off the bat that you have to hire um, these individuals within a certain time frame. So we're, we are really here to support you in your journey. We are really here to help you kind of make that decision. But yeah, <laughs> I think we are just waiting for some questions. If any have, anyone has any, um, as well as Stacy said, we are definitely available on email and phone and uh, LinkedIn or <laughs> however you <laughs> want to connect with us.